Hey everybody, Ryan here. Uh, it's been one hell of a long time since I last did a tutorial on anything. Um, I know you guys are waiting for the life bar tutorial and the other tutorials I promised, but uh, this is a quick one. Um, this is how to high res, uh, low res sprites. Now, high resing can be done in many ways. Uh, it also goes by different names. Um, I noticed the uh, the Asians tend to call it D4. Um, most uh, English-speaking people call it high resolution. Um, some other countries tend to call it double resolution. So um, now uh, I'll just show you how I do it. Uh, you can do it any way you want. In most cases, you can't filter the sprites. It looks ugly, ugly and horrible, and it just doesn't look right. But um, if you redraw them, you're given like complete control over it. So let's take a look here. This is a low-res mountain. Now, what I'm going to do is, well, I'm not going to do this, it's a very example, I'm going to show you. So this is a low-res mountain here, correct? And what's on the right side is a high-res version of that mountain. Now, I know it may look like uh, enlarged by 2, which it kind of is, because double uh, high resolution is more or less double size as the original. Except the difference is, this has higher quality in between, and a little anti-aliasing. Now, let's take a closer look here. You see, uh, with these masks, these here are the low-res versions. These on the outside are the high-res versions. Uh, depending on the face, it's kind of hard to do. Like this one, I was like, what the hell is that? This one is pretty simple. This one is like, oh my god. And that one's like, kind of hard also. But as you can see, there is very little quality going on uh, here. Um, just simple colors, white, gray, black. And it looks like a face blowing a kiss. It's really just a wind element blowing air. But when you double it up by two, which is like this, you magnify by 200, you get this. And when you high res it, you take off some detail and you get this. Yeah, it'll detail also. So now I, instead of just three colors, I have white, a very light gray, a gray, a black. One, two, three. Yeah, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, good. Four. And, okay, so that's that. Now let's see this one. This one is more or less the same thing. It's a very simple object. You see it's round, so you know you need something round. You need to redraw a round shape here and here. And the white is just that. So I turn one, two, three colors into one, two, three, four, and five colors. I just made this darker just to um, give it more like detail. Let's go down here to the fire. This one's a bit hard because I couldn't really tell what the hell I'm looking at here, but after I anti-aliased it, which are these light colors that you see here, these anti-aliasing here. This is uh, a technique which it, I'm, I use it the very minimalist just to make it look really nice. Close up, it looks okay. Far away, it looks really nice. It looks very smooth. Now, see this one? It's fire, obviously. And you can't really tell, but you see how the fire curls up here? It looks okay, but when, I, when it's double size and I take out some pixels, it looks much better. And when I anti-aliased it, it looks really good. And the last one here, this is a rock. Now, this one was hard to do because I looked at this and I was like, what the hell is that? And what the hell's with that face? Look at that face. That's a horrible face. Now, I wasn't sure what the hell to do with this. So I used the best of my ability to figure out what to do. Um, since it's a rock, it's a straight, uh, flat object. Well, not straight, but it's a flat object on various shapes. Now, more than likely, the patterns on it don't go like all over the place like that. They all kind of go into one direction, so to speak. So that's what I did with him. I, I put all these lines together going to the left, uh, lower left on uh, top right. So I did that, and this is what it came up to. And that face is really just terrifying. I mean, look at that face. That's an ugly face. All right, so that's that. Now, as for actual detailing and stuff, um, I'm going to cut these two out here and compare them to the high-res versions. Now, these are this is what anti-aliasing, okay? So, take a look here. This is the mountain. This is the mountain after it's been high-res and anti-aliased. You notice the detail that it has now? Uh, these these little two pixels here are actually like now eight pixels. And it's been anti-aliased, so it looks really smooth from far away. Same thing with down here. This has been kind of jaggedy and hard to see and kind of spotty with the pixels. This one, they smooth out, and then they it looks nicer. And it's, it's easy to do this, but it's kind of hard depending on your image. See, this is kind of hard to do because I have to look for a repetitive pattern, which is like, say, from here to here, uh, yeah, here to here, and then I could just, once you find that pattern, you can copy and paste it over and over. 
like this to make it ongoing. But that's the thing about Nintendo sprites. This is, these are from Nintendo game, by the way. Nintendo sprites are usually 8x8 pixels or 16x16. Rarely is it 16x16, mostly 8x8. So once you find a pattern, you can easily uh, reproduce it many times over as much as you want. So let's go on with my uh, request, so to speak. Um, this is a Super Mario Brothers 2 US version uh, stage boss. Um, this is the original low res version of the stage. <coughs> stage. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, this is this is the full uh, quality of it here. This is the max resolution of the game, I guess you could say. And this is the, my friend's rendition of it. Now to turn this into high res since it has more detail with the rock and these platforms and the stuff I'm going to more or less convert it to 256 just so I can mess with it let me see uh, yeah I have to convert it to 256 so I can mess with it and then I have to um, more or less double size everything once I double size everything I can easily redraw it or I can take it into break it into pieces uh, redraw it then reproduce it so I think I'm gonna do the second option so first things first I'm going to lower the resolution. Oh, okay, it's already saved like that. So save PNG. Okay, so all right. So now I have to probe open iDraw. I like to use iDraws. Many of you know it's my all-time favorite program to use. Uh, and we'll go with 800, 800. It's, it's really big for this type of image, but it'll work fine. All right, so alpha color. I like that color. See, this stuff kind of controlled here, but I'll just change it back to black. Uh, not there. Not there either. Alright, so the first thing we're going to start with in this is very, uh, you have to find the patterns and similar shapes. The pattern which you could probably see, oh my god, I really have to, what, there. Okay, now I'll just, re hold on, give me a second. I overthought this a little bit. Okay, so, ah, crap. So, the first thing to do is look at a pattern. The pattern that's obviously the easiest one are the bricks. You got a dark brick, an orange brick, and a, a dark red, an orange, and a yellow brick. Then you have a dark red, orange, and yellow brick again. Then it more or less repeats all the way down. So, one, it's like one set, two set, three set, four set, five set. So, it's five sets of bricks that are this color. So, the easiest way to do it is to find a pattern. And as you can see here, on, on the right side, you get the pattern easy. Very easy right here with the pattern giveaway. So let's see. Okay, this is also easy here. So I'm going to take the middle section. Just cut. I'll start from here. I'll take the middle section. And I shall paste it far away. Over here. That's the middle section. That's the, the, false, the original sprites. These are the copy of it. I'm going to enlarge this by 200%. 200. Enlarged. Really big, huh? Now, I'm going to look for half of it. The full size is 64, so 64 divided by 2 is 32. So this is half. Okay, cut there. This is half. Now, I know that if I copy and paste this left and right, it's going to tile really good. So... Let's just see. I copy and paste it and put it next to each other. Tiles looks really good. Everything matches up. The bricks are all the same size. Details are good. Good. So now let's work with this. I can either split this into three sets of tiles for each color or just make it one and make life a lot simpler. So that's what I'm going to do. Make it one. Leave it the way it is. So now, after you double size, you start to take away detail. So we can start by doing this and just get the bare minimum of what it is. Then we can rebuild it. So this is a big brick. This is going to be not so big brick. Well, that may be a big brick. Yeah, big brick. Okay. Oops. Always make sure you use the proper colors to fill this in. Once you get the bare uh, shape of it, then you can do whatever you want to do with it. And trial and error is good for high resing as well. Now I'm gonna uh, make this image look really nice and fancy, and then uh, I will maybe anti-alias a little bit just so you get the idea of how it works. 
and how you can do it yourself. Um, for the most part, a lot of programs will anti-alias for you. You don't have to do it yourself, but I think as an artist, it's a skill you should probably know how to do, just so you can make your images look better without the help of fancy technology. Not saying technology is bad, but you know, it's good to know without sometimes. Okay, so that's there. Okay, <clears throat> so now I've got the bare minimum of the actual bricks, and you can see it already looks a bit better, except these are darker and it looks nicer. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what the proper size for everything should be. So we're going to recount all the pixels to make sure it's all right. The top one is uh, 17 pixels long. This middle one is 14. Then this is 16. Okay. 15. Okay. 15. Okay. 14. Okay. I think 15, 14 look better than... Uh, the alternatives. So let's see, this is 16 and this one is 15. Ah, that's interesting. The size, it's really funny. Alright, so 17, 14. Alright, I'll move this up one. And this becomes 16. And this becomes 15. Good. 16, 15. Next one, measure. 16, 15, good. And the last one, 15, 14. So let's add one more line of blockage here and one more line of blockage here. Okay, so this is now 16 and this is now 15, good. The reason why we're trying to keep it all equal is so that it, everything works out really good. So from the looks of the blocks, there's an extra black border around the top ones. So we're going to keep that. So it'll be an extra black here, extra black here, extra black here, and extra black here, here, and here. All right, now for this. Now we'll simply just remove one part of the layer. Instead of being a thick two-block thing, so it's going to be one now. See, so when you zoom out, you see it looks more or less the same, except with more detail. And let's see. I'm going to copy this, paste it a little bit, and make it a wall. See, so now it's not exactly the same as before because it actually has uh, a sense of style to it. See, the big block, you can tell the difference in the blocks now. Also, you can, um, what you can do to make this look better, and probably, probably should do, is to make them in shades. Now, I'm going to recolor them, so to speak. Um, this looks like a dark red-orange color. Dark red-orange color, good. I'm going to fade to that. And this looks like some kind of orange color. And a little darkish. Fade to black. And this is some kind of a very light orange color. Always going to fade to black also. <clears throat> Alright, so. Let's add some detail to it. Make it look nice and pretty. Instead of a black border, we're going to use a simple darker shade of the same color. See? like this. And this one is going to be here also. Yeah, just on the top, I think, and this will make it look really good. Okay, next color is there. Uh, simply adding simple single line colors like this, it can make a difference in the overall appeal and add detail to something that didn't have detail at all before. My shades are off here, but you, as you can see, but it's okay. Yeah, they're kind of off, but the bricks do look more vibrant and alive. Uh, the next object I'm going to do is... The bombs are easy, so I'll take those, put those here. Magnify by 200. These are easy to do, too. Okay, four of them are lined up. 
That's good. Alright, so magnified, 200, good. Get rid of their current backgrounds. Alright, so, how does this happen? Obviously, this is a circle. It's a bomb. It's going to be a circle. So we're going to take out some inner side layers of blocks here. And see how this is, like, not a single one? It would look funny. So because it's uh, it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're going to take out 2 out of 4. We'll divide by half. So more or less dividing by half will get you the round object. See, this is all 1, so this is 1. This one, I would just bleh the whole thing. 1, 1, 1, bleh. One, one, blah. One, one, blarg. Okay, two. This one's going to be two. Good. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Uh, this will go here. Blah. Down, down. Down. I don't know what the hell that is, honestly. And blah. Yeah, I don't know what this white thing is. And I'll move the whole pixel over here. So you see, it looks smoother already from just that s simple nonsense I just did there. Except, you know, you still kind of see that it's very boxed out. So we, we can easily make that around by adding one pixel there like that. See? See how much of a difference that actually makes when you think about it? I'll do it down here as well. Take out this one. Take out this one. That there. See? Now it looks like a round bomb. Uh, this you would just play with this until you get it the way you want it to look. I'm not sure how this is supposed to look, honestly. Uh, put a pixel here. See, look at that. Take some of the white, put it right there. Oh, and for this also, I can do that. So now it looks more round and more like a bomb. And if you look at that, it looks pretty awesome. Next is the platform. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to, what I like about these X marks is that they're super simple to uh, make them look better. You take the background color here, you erase this. Take the color there, erase this. It's the same color, so that makes it easy. Erase, 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 and erase. Erase, and erase. Pretty awesome, huh? Now let's see from the looks of this, uh, black's going to be there. Uh, black's gonna be there. Uh, black's gonna be there, and black's gonna be there. What do you know? Simple, right? There's nothing I can really do for that, honestly. Erase some of this. Erase some of this. Eh, why not erase one of these lines here? Make more black. There, see. So now it's added more detail there automatically. Good. Now we can erase a line here, here, uh, again here. Again here, again here, again here. These shapes are kind of simple, and you don't want to mess with them too much because it's a box. In the long run, it's a box. So see how this is one? You have to make this one also. And then we'll put one black line down there. Well, it's two black lines now. But that, that looks great. And compared to the original image, it looks exactly like, except in the higher detail. So I'm going to uh, take these and put them one, two, three, four alongside each other just to make that platform. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the platform. I suppose I, I'll start recreating the stage now. Um, let's see. I'll take this actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so 1, the. <clears throat> I'm sorry my tutorials are so long and kind of boring at times, but in the end, you do learn something, right? At least I hope you learn something. Alright, good. So that's 1. My hands are shaky. Stop shaking, hands. Okay, one. Stop that background color. Stop turning black. Okay, so I counted 15. I could be wrong, but I counted 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
1560. Eh, whatever. It's close enough. Alternatively, I could have just done this. Could have just taken that and magnified it by 200. And let's see, how do I stand up against it? Oh, look at that. It's practically the same size. Yeah, it is the same size. That's perfect. All right. So this goes 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, it goes down five times. So let's do that. We're going to take this whole thing. Go down five times. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, I'm out of space. Uh, I don't need this. This is garbage now. Three, four, and five. All right. Now let's uh, work on making this image look like this. Um, so it looks like. Uh, there's two erase sites here, so let's work on that. Stops at orange, orange, goes down to yellow, blah, blah, blah. okay, goes down to this far. Let's see, oops, too much. Now, it's kind of hard to get proper measurements, but you'll have to bear with me here for a second. Okay, so... One, two... Okay, good. Then one, two, then one, two. Alrighty. Oh, cripes. There and there. Good. So that's the two. I'll go down here. Okay, go down here. Um, this orange. Luckily, there are only two like major uh, difference in figures here, so it's easy to figure out. Um, okay, that's that. That is only too big. Good. So then I can remove here. The wall is one, I believe. Yes, the wall is one. So from here, going down. Perfect. So now this is that. In fact, I'll make it look even better by adding the blue. Line tools are your friend. Be nice to them. There we go. Now, we got a bomb somewhere, so let's take the bomb, paste it up. Okay. Let's take the bomb again without the bottom. Paste it up. It is somewhere right here. Good. Then the platform. Take the platform, paste it up. It is on the red right. That damn text message scared the hell out of me. All right, so, oh, I went too far with the floor. <laughs> Whoops. This is somewhere around here. Push back a little bit to make space for that one. Good. Let's see. Now, all right, I got, I got to fix this floor here. So it goes up to orange. So orange is what I need to fix. So I take what I have and fix it. Uh, this could be used by uh, this whole uh, technique here. What I'm showing you can be used by anybody for making uh, Nintendo stages look awesome. Uh, it does require a bit of time and practice, but overall the results are just really nice, as you've seen in the other stage that I did. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we'll take these, turn them blue, blue. So now we more or less have uh, the stage for the basics parts. Let's take these diamonds as well. These are going to be easy to do. I'll do them here. Um, magnify 200. Take out some details from the inside. Zoom in more. Uh, to me, it's always good to zoom in all the way. 
Pixels are your friends, unless you don't like pixels, in which you're a bad person. And God doesn't like bad people, so you should like pixels so God likes you. Yes, I said that. Do, 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 here, here. Okay. By making it a little more jaggedy, it looks nicer and cleaner. Too jaggedy. There we go. Now I'll just, mm, let's see. I'll, I'll put these here just to make it fill up properly. Good. Okay, paste that there. And paste this here. Now this is really jaggedy, so what I would do to smoothen it is get a color that is a tiny bit darker. Like this one. Just one little line of these darker shades of the same color, uh, assumably, will make it look a lot smoother. In the mountains, the, the snow mountain stage I had, my main colors were white and blue and other like black and white, uh, other colors like that. So it all didn't matter. Plus, they aren't going to move. As you can see here, it already looks really smooth from this distance compared to that and compared to how it looked without it. In fact, let me go to the bomb and smooth the bomb out as well. Now, see, for an object like this, you just do the edges. Every little corner, that's where you would add this color. And this here, this is the basic anti aliasing I was telling you about. This makes the image look a lot smoother from far away. Uh, no, it doesn't look right. It needs to be a very light color. Yeah, this will work. See, this will make it look smooth. See how it looks now? It looks really smooth. This one, I could probably do this one as well. Let me see. Uh, I missed it. There we go. Okay. Um, this is also a dark color. Uh, too dark a color. Mm. Actually, no, it might work. Yeah, yeah, this will definitely work, and I'll take off a layer of the black. So then this dark shade will more or less fill in for that last shade of darkness. So this way I don't have to use so many dark lines. And it it blurs at the same time, so it looks really good at the same time. As for the white side, I guess I can... That's... No. Maybe this one? Yeah, this is, this is a better color to use for the white. But you would have to know your colors in a sense that you just sort of understand what to use for what part. Um, let me take this and copy-paste it everywhere. Hmm, what's this? Whatever, I'll leave it. Copy paste it everywhere. And zoom out, and you'll see it looks smoother as well. Nicer, smoother. Okay, so the bomb's smooth, the life's smooth, this is smooth. Let's see. Da, da, da. Practically aligned with this here. Going right here. Okay, good. So that's that. Now, we got a lot of basic stuff done here and high-resing this image. I don't know what the hell this is. I, seriously, I think it's a glitch. I don't know what the hell that is. It's like toad in a mushroom pieces. So, next object is going to be the rock. Now, this rock, haha, <laughs> this rock can be trouble or it can be easy. Now, see, uh, Magnify 200, it has multiple shapes. This is kind of hard, technical, but it can also be done easily. So, Let's smooth out the edges. Take off the oh, take off the pieces at the edge here, edge here, edge here, edge here. Okay. Now work on the inside. Take off this here. This is four slots, four boxes. So we take off two. Again, four boxes. Take off two. Uh, take these off. Take these off. Take these off. And I know it's not selective what I'm doing. I'm just looking at it the easiest way possible. Um, you can remove whatever order you want. Take those off. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. That, that's two, 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 two here. This one's big, so this is like, this is three. This one's four. This one is two. Um, 
this one's like four or five. Um, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, one. Move over these two like this. Uh, let's see. Move over these two, over these two. Move over that three, two. Uh, there and there. They remove that. And already you can see from this uh, moving around these pixels like this, it's uh, making the image look smoother already, which is cool. So let's see. Put this down here like that. Like that. There. Um, hmm. Okay. There. There. Ah, uh, what am I doing about this? Uh, that. That's what I'm doing about it. What am I doing with this? I'll do that and that. Um. Okay. This I'm extra here. And, and so you can more or less see that I am uh destroying every. A single line of pixels by filling in what what I already have, and that actually works for high resing something, especially in a case like this. But you also have to worry about you don't want to have too much black taking over everything. So let's zoom out and see how this looks. And that rock looks just like that, except it's clearer, as you can obviously see. So we're just gonna fill in the rock now because we took out a lot of the colors. So uh, I'm gonna add more blo uh, white blocks to it. To fill in what I took out. Yeah. And don't be too scared to experiment what uh what color should be where. Um in the end, you know, it doesn't really matter. But don't take out too much detail. Okay, good. See this? Uh, this is a big black spot here. But I guess considering how the original looked, that'll be okay. Yeah, it kind of had a big black. It had two um, boxes of black spot here, 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 and a little bit here. So I guess I guess I'm okay with this. Um, it's not a tileable sprite in any way. But it is what it is. And this goes, where does this go? This goes right under this one. And there. Yep, too much. There. So uh, you kind of saw how I did it really fast. How I um, just took out the edges and did it. Move it closer by one. Good, so now it's aligned properly and everything is it's all it's all happy and dandy. The only two things left are more or less this rat and toad. Hey look, they both have bombs. What a coincidence. I have a bomb right here. Now I don't have the rat sprite unfortunately, just single alone. But I will take him and redraw him. Double size. Alrighty, so let's start from the ground uh no no, let's start from the ears up. The ears down, ears down. Ears down. Big ol' ears. Take a line, take a line, take out the line, half the line, middle half the line. There, 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 there. See? Simple. There, there, there. There, there, there. There, 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 there. Here, here, here. That. There, there, there. There, there, there. That, 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 I think his ears okay like that. More pink. See, I've been doing this for a long time. That's how I can do it so fast, so easily, and without fear of messing up. Because I've I messed up a lot in learning how to do this, honestly. You just get better at it. Okay, so there are his round glasses. Um, 
So I'm going to there bring down his ears a little bit. Take off some more pixel. Oh, too much pixels. Um, I don't know what this is here. This is kind of messed up, but I think this is from the bomb. So I will cut off this, make this pink, make this black. I will take the bomb I redrew and paste it on him, uh, just to make that up. This is his nose, the little rat nose. Okay. Uh, shades, the little rat shades. Everyone knows rats love shades. I mean, if your rat doesn't like shades, you don't have a rat in your hands. You've got some kind of, like, supernatural rodent. Uh, luckily for me, he's so easy to deal with, too. Look at this guy. He's, like, very spacious and generous with his boxes. Not too many, not too little. Uh, again, I'll just uh, copy-paste that. I think this is his hand. Pieces of his hand. Now, see, this is where a high resin gets difficult. Can you, when you can't tell what the object is. I don't know if that's his hand. I don't know if these are feetsies. But I'm going to take off detail just to keep it the same way. It's the only thing I can really do because I can't tell what it is. I don't want to change too much to make it dramatically different. <laughs> okay, that was a big difference right there. Uh, rat tail. This was easy to spot. Thankfully. Uh, I'm going to assume that's a rat hand in some way. Okay. Oh my god. Whatever. Silly rat. Shouldn't be fighting toads. Well, you probably should have, but shouldn't be. Toads are bad. Okay, I messed up here a little bit, but you can see it. Drew it back. Take out some. Okay, now this is an ugly looking rat, and honestly, this can't be helped because of the game that he's from. I'm gonna blame the game and leave it at that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I can really do to this rat to make him look nice. Yeah. Alright, so, um, I'll open paint for a second. Uh, because I draw, you can't uh, put things on top of each other. I'll use paint for this. So I'll use paint. Take the colors, take my bomb. Good. Paste. Select transparent selection and replace the bomb bomb. Okay, so we need to erase a little detail here. Okay, I'll fix that up when I put it back in. And boom, back in. Okay, now let's see, Mr. Rat Boy. You're gonna go where you belong. Here. Yeah. Throwing stuff at Toad because it makes complete sense. Okay, looks like you're about to fall off, actually. It's alright, because you're a rat. You have good balance. Let's fix his ear. Good. So that's that. And the last thing I'm going to do is Toad. Now, let's see. Toad, 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 toad. Okay, he's kind of simple, which is beyond me, but, I mean, he's like... If you take away his mushroom head, he looks like some kind of Arabian character with his little Alibaba pants. No offense to Indians out there. I'm Indian myself. I don't care. Okay, so let's see. He's using the same bomb, his, except the sprite is just flipped. Like, literally just, whoops. Hey, look, same thing. What do you know? A except it's gray, which would be easy. Let's just make a gray scale quickly. White, black, gradient, sweet. Uh, let's see. This is going to be like uh, that color. And this is going to be like uh, that color. And these other shades here are going to be like the next color. And boom. 
instant gradients. I'll take this red back because fire is always red. See, I, I just redrew his bomb practically right there. It's all recolors. You gotta love that stuff, man. And smooth. So, okay, now Toad, and that's it. We're up to 40 minutes here. I'm really pushing it, but I'm also, I guess at the same time, I'm showing you uh, the long, enduring process of high resing sprites manually. Oi. Alright, so let's remove this from his head. I'll add this in later. Oh, you know what? I'll just take the bomb and put it around him right now and work around it. Just like I did before. I'm going to uh, copy and paste these dudes in Microsoft Paint and put them together. Okay, so there. Somewhere like here is where the bomb is. is. Who knows? Boom. He's got his bomb. Okay, so do, 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 do. zoom in all the way. I can zoom in much more than this, but I, I like to zoom in like this. Take off one, take off one, take off two, take off a whole row, whole row. I guess I'm going to make them a bit slimmer by doing this, but this also helps the process. Take off full rows where you think full rows aren't necessary. Man, if you're not sure, try it, see how it looks, and if anything, you can always undo with the undo button. Okay, so he's wearing pants, and this is his crotch area. Somehow, it is. I don't know. But, and these are his feetsies. Let's add a little space there for your feetsies, man. You can use them. Uh, these are things coming out of his... I don't know. That's his skin. Mm. Toad skin. Nasty. There... Pixel removing is fun. Okay. White, 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 white. Okay. Uh, white, 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 white. Uh, what is that? Mm. Okay, this is where his eyes end, his hand. There you go. I made you chunky now, buddy. You're no longer a Slim Jim. There. Belly. Mouth face thing. Arm. More. Hem? What is that? Oh, whatever. Here. Take away some here. Here, here, here. Here, here. Here, here, here. And this way as well. There, there. Do, do. Wait, no, this is blue. White, white. There. I guess I could take away some here as well. Just to show more detail on that he has a head. Made it rounder. Look at that. A nice, uh, detailed uh, shroom. There you go. Uh, the more you have one pixels like this, is a no no. The more you have one pixels, the better. I, I, I suppose. Take some here. Yeah, uh, down. Okay. There we go. Now, when I zoom out, you're going to see a toadstool. I'll take off some pixels there. I this one there. So now it's rounded out a little bit. I really need to do that here too. There we go. All right. Good. And just because he's a freaking mushroom, for God's sakes. I'm going to leave that there like that. Maybe I have a blue spot here. He doesn't have this blue spot originally, but I'm going to add it just so he has a blue spot. And I zoom out. I want to have a high res toad. That's low res. This is high res over here. Look at that. His pants look funny, but I mean, you could just play play with the thing until it looks the way you want it to look. Um, <laughs> he's got really funny pants, actually. And the good thing about this is you can also recolor him a little bit, too, to make him stand out. Let's see that shirt. That shirt is ugly. Let's give him, like, a hot pink shirt. Go here. Take a nice hot pink. Oh, God, wrong black. Okay, go here. 
Take a nice hot pink. Let's color his shirt in. He'll be the coolest kid in the block, I swear to you. Okay, so I think that's probably a shirt right there. This is all pants. Yeah, so see, yeah. Gave him a nice pink shirt. But in all honesty, I mean, you could just put black and he would look better. Just saying, you know, because pink is cool sometimes. Black in his eyes, make him look more detailed. If I had more uh, shades, I would anti-alias him properly, but I kind of don't. But, you know, you get the idea of how to anti-alias. So I take Mr. Toad. I put him down here where he probably belongs. Here. Okay. Uh, try moving him down a bit more. Good. So there's Mr. Toad. He's happy and dandy. And there you go. Uh, I just high res this low res stage from a Nintendo game into this. So if, if uh, uh, someone with better art skills than me, or even uh, the actual game, uh, they could practically remake a game and sell it, or some nonsense they shouldn't be doing uh, using this type of thing. See, so thank you for watching and paying attention. I'm gonna put a download link for this in the description below. I'm gonna call it. Super Mario Bros. Uh, uh, high res thingy. Yeah, so uh, that's that. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, but before we go anywhere, I'm going to show you something for my Ryu character that I forgot to put in the last video. His focus punch. He's not in the areas. He doesn't have any picture yet, but that's him. Not that stage. So thank you. Um, hopefully I'll get more time to do more tutorials. Um, I, I have so many in my head I have to do. I have so many requests I have to fulfill with these tutorials. And I will do them eventually, I promise. Things have just been hectic lately and I haven't had a lot of time. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye.